Ugh, what do you do when it looks like that outside? <laughs> this, I'm in my studio right now and it's a basement room so you can see the window well here and the snow right there. Um, and it's mixed with some icy rain so it's kind of like not pretty. Anyways, <laughs> so I just thought I would show you once in a while what I've been working on. And my New Year's resolution for this year is to uh, finish all the projects that I have started. I have a lot of projects going on and I'm going to take you over to my other room. Um, so this was my studio. Now this is an extra room that we have in the basement and this is where I used to give classes when I was very active with Stampin' Up. So as you can see over there, there's my... Um, my light box where I take photos of my projects and on this table are all projects that I need to go through. Now some of those projects date back from back in October where uh, Denise and I, Denise is a lady I work with uh, at the store, um, we went to a retailer show and we did a few projects but there's a few of them that I really didn't have time to complete. So basically they're all in there, plus my stuff from CHA, which is uh, all here, all piled up that I need to uh, go through and, you know, add some little touches here and there. And over there, <laughs> on this big table and under the table, these are all organizational projects that I'm working on. So um, this here is part of my stamp collection that I need to catalog. And I started putting them in small binders like that. And again, I'll do a video on that in more detail soon. Um, these are all uh, beyond the page Kaiser Craft modules that I need to put together. I have, whoops, I think I have about three of them. One, two, three. Yeah, I have three of them. One of them is for my tea collection. I'm, I'm a big tea drinker. Um, so I'm going to do something for the kitchen upstairs. And in here I have more projects going on. Some of these drawers are for my art journaling. I also want to put together and catalog all my dies. Um, and I'm also thinking of doing a house binder with all our important uh, in, um, instruction booklets and all that and the receipts and the warranties and yada yada yada. And knitting. <laughs> I'm supposed to knit two scarves for this winter. They'll probably be for next winter. As you can see here at the bottom I have my scrapbooking albums which most of them are empty. Oh here's the rest of my stamps. <laughs> I have this full box of Stampin' Up! stamps that I need to unmount. Uh, this is just extra binders and cases. And, <clears throat> might as well show you that right now. Oops, need to turn on the light. My camera's probably gonna freak out on me if I do this. Nope, not too bad. Okay, so I'm in my little corner here. Uh, these, I've already done a video on this, and I'm not going to touch those. These are in their proper cases. Um, some of them are still on their wood blocks. Some of them are unmounted, but they're all identified with a number. And all of these are close to my heart stamps because uh, a friend of mine used to sell those. So I need to put all these in DVD cases, just like these. So I bought a whole bunch of them from Stampin' Up. Uh, the ones that are from Stampin' Up that it came in um, DVD cases originally like that. I'm just keeping them like that. And all of the other stamps that I'm unmounting, I put them in DVD cases. And again, I'll do um, a more in-depth video when I'm done cataloging everything. And I have another section here that I need to unmount as well. And I also want to put all of my paper tray, um, and non-paper tray, but most of these are paper tray ink stamps and DVD cases because I hate the CD cases that they come with. I really, really don't like them. Uh, and that's it. That's it. I have some Just Right stamps as well and some of the uh, these caddies here that I need to catalog as well. But...
And I just wanted to show you what I'm working on right now. And this was a project that we started, or I started in October, last October in Florida. It was at the Collins Group, which is a retailer's show. And it's an 8x8 easel project from Graphic 45. And most of the pages are already assembled. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just um, adding touches here and there and some of them I wasn't really happy about how they turned out. I decided also to ink up the edges and my biggest challenge was that I wasn't happy with the first page. So I ended up redoing everything last night <laughs> just because I can and I'm turning this into a calendar. It's originally intended for a scrapbooking album but uh, or a mini album but I decided to print out uh, calendar and I cut them all up and each page is going to be a month and obviously this is the bird song this is my it's not so much of a big mess but for me it is so I've got all my I had an extra pack of bird song which I love I think it's such a beautiful collection and I'm a hoarder, well, I'm a hoarder. I'm a paper hoarder. I love paper and I'm always hesitant in using it. But now, another one of my 2013 resolution is to use up the stuff I have. When it's over, it's over. And we move on to, because let's face it, we're all going to find something better, you know, something that we like better. So might as well use up all our stuff. So this is all my extra paper that I cut out yesterday. And for the first page, I'm just going to show you the first page because this is the one that I'm really happy about for now. I'm still working on the other ones. Um, so as you can see, it's got a lot of dimension. Some of them are on double foam tapes, as you can see here. So uh, I added a little bit more fussy cutting. Oh, I just love how it turned out. It's so beautiful. I, the paper, the paper is just breathtaking. And I also added some stickles which we didn't do in the class, so I decided to add some here and there on the flowers and a little bit on her kimono. I was really going crazy with the stickles, so I had to stop myself because I just love this stuff. But, uh, you know, the little, little bird here is fussy cut and that part here is fussy cut. It's tough to see because it's kind of... Okay, here. So that flower here is fussy cut. The lady, the geisha, is fussy cut. Lots of dimension. Uh, I really, really like how it turned out. So, um, and I can show you the rest of the pages, but they're not final. These are all pages that we did during the class. So this is going to be February. It's tough for me to show you. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be February. And I haven't figured out. See, and we also uh, had to cut out um, half pages. So I'm still, as you can see, it's a work in progress. But I will show you the final, final result when I'm done. I'm going to let you look outside. It stopped snowing, but the cold is settling in, and we're supposed to go down to the minus 20 Celsius, so it's going to get pretty cold. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that I have a giveaway coming up soon because I have uh, reached my 1,000 subscribers. Don't despair, it's coming. I just have to find the time to put everything together, but um, I do, most of the stuff is already bought, and there will be two winners this time around. So that is it. I'm heading out to the store right now because I need to film for the new products uh, every Thursday on Scrapbook Central's. Oops, I just banged my elbow. <laughs> every uh, Thursday on Scrapbook Central's YouTube channel, we show the new products in, which is quite interesting. So you might want to check that out if you want. So I'm heading out there to. Um, film and also to take some pictures and uh, that will be probably the end of my day. I am intending on working more on this um, on this mini album or a calendar as it stands now and I will see, see you soon. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm heading out to the store and I just wanted to show you what I mean by brutal winters in Montreal. I don't know if you can see the wind catching the snow right there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty darn brutal. Uh, look at that.
the wind is crossing the street. We can actually see it crossing the street. 